He says in Matthew chapter 5, I believe, he says, Blessed are they that thirst and hunger, for they shall be filled. They Blessed are they that thirst and hunger for righteousness, for they shall be filled. They shall be satisfied. And you can be around the things of God. You can be around your Bible. You can have your Bible sitting on your dashboard. You can have your Bible sitting on your kitchen counter. You can be around the things of God and still not drink from it, still not let it satisfy you. Having the Bible and holding the Bible in your hand doesn't satisfy you. Standing in the church parking lot doesn't satisfy you. Sitting in the church building doesn't satisfy the core of your being. The only way our, our spirit man is refreshed is by us drinking, by us partaking. That's the only way. And so we are, we're, we're, at a, we're in a place right now. <laughs> and, I, and I've had to ask God, I said, I've had to go to God myself often. I say, Father God, I feel like I'm doing all the things right. And I feel like I'm, 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 um, I'm feeling low. When I feel low on energy, low on patience, low on love. I know the spirit of God lives in me. I know I'm full of the Holy Ghost. I know I'm full of the word of God. I know I'm full of his love. I know his love has been shed abroad on my heart by the Holy Ghost who's been given to me. I know all of those scriptures, right? I know that. And so, but sometimes I reach a point where I feel low on patience, low on love, like, like nothing has been filled up in me. <laughs> nothing has been poured out. Like I'm, like I'm operating on fumes. Like God wants me to go to Florida, but the only place I can make it to is down the street. If you guys get what I'm saying, sometimes I feel that way. And when I feel low, low in every way, right? Like I have nothing else to give out, nothing else to pour out. God, that's when God says, I need you to come to me and let me refresh you. And so that's how he deals with me. Yes, God's love has been shed abroad in your heart by the Holy Ghost. Yes, you are full of the Holy Ghost. Yes, his word, his presence lives in you. You are full of love. Your, your, your love tank is full. No matter how low you feel, your love tank is full because Jesus lives in you. You have a great capacity to love. You have a great capacity to be patient. You have a great capacity to operate in all of the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Because Holy Spirit lives in you, abides in you. He's taken up residence in you. But that truth does us no good. God's presence in us does us no good unless we drink of him and partake of him. And let him refresh us. Let him replenish us. Let him make us full and complete and refreshed and sweet. Unless we let him fill us. And how do we do that? We go to God and we don't just say words. Sometimes our most powerful prayers are whispers. Things that you whisper. Because you're very attentive to what you're saying. Sometimes you 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 go from sha na 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 and yes Lord yes Lord to really quieting down quieting down and telling God what you really really need and what you really really want. The Bible talks about how Hannah she was whispering how she was she was mumbling she was mumbling she she was sit in front of the prophet and she was and she was so in need she was so desperate she was barren and she wanted a child. She couldn't scream her request. She just whispered it. God, he, he, he doesn't just want us in the building, in the church, around his word, around his spirit, with the Bible in our hands, sitting on our counter. It does us no good. He wants us to be satisfied by him, satisfied with him, refreshed by him. Filled up by him, loved on by him, poured into, replenished.
He said it's not enough for you to know I'm good. I want you to taste and see that I'm good. It's not enough for you to know God is great. I want you to taste and see how sweet I am, how good I am. Taste of me in the morning. Let me satisfy you in the morning. Let me satisfy you in the afternoon. Let me satisfy you on your lunch break. Let me satisfy you still away with me for a minute. Still away with me. And forget about everything that's on your mind. Put all that to the side. Lay it all aside and say, Father, I'm focusing in on you right now. You are my refreshing. You are my river that never runs dry. You are the one that I can come to. You are my river. You are my well. I drink of you, Father, right now. And that's what you tell God. I drink of you right now. Fill me up right now. I taste of you right now. Father, I, I come to you, Lord God. I'm thirsty, Father. And you're the only one that can satisfy me. You're the only one that can fill me right now. You're the only one that can reach that place in me. Only you can satisfy the core of my being. Is living waters. He says, come to me. You're low on energy. You're low on patience. You're tired. You're frustrated. You feel like you're low on love. Feel like you can't encourage nobody. God says, come to me. I will strengthen you. I will pour my spirit into you. I will replenish you. I will restock you. I will restock you. You ever seen a pantry that's re that's stocked? Shelves that's stocked. Well stocked. Some of us are working with one can on the shelf. Just one can. <laughs> You just want got one can on the shelf. You can't do nothing with one can. Who can you bless? Who can you encourage with one can on the shelf? You need to get along with God so he can restock you and fill you to the overflow to where you have so much to give. Praise God. He said, you come to me. You come to me like I'm your only source because I am your only source. You come to me like I'm the only one that can satisfy you because I am the only one that can satisfy you. You come to me like I'm the only one that can fill you, like you have no other source. No other person can satisfy you like God can. No other person can touch you like he can. No other person can touch your mind and touch your heart and touch your body. No other person can touch you and replenish you and help you. And so you come to God like that. He said, he that comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. And so when you come to God, you come to, you come to him because you know that nobody else can satisfy that place in you. Only God can. And that's, a, and that's faith. And he will reward you with an overflow. He will reward you because you're coming to him because he is your only hope. He's your only source. Thank God for our husbands, but they can't satisfy that place. Thank God for our friends, but they can't satisfy that place. Our children can't satisfy that place. No amount of money, no amount of shopping, no new shoes, no new outfits, no hairstyle, no, nothing can satisfy. There's a certain place. And if that place gets low, if that place is neglected, if it's ignored, we can find ourselves anxious, fearful, worried, insecure, off, off balanced. Easily agitated, short-tempered, short-fused. 
if that place is neglected. We have to let God, we have to drink from Him. We have to drink from Him. We can be around the things of God. You can be at church Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and still be empty and still be low and still not be refreshed. You can be around the things of God, just like Mary and Martha. Jesus was in the house, but the only person drinking was Mary. The only person being satisfied was Mary. You can have Jesus in your life. All up in your life. And still not taste of him. Still not enjoy his presence. And so that's what God wants for us. He says, I'm trying to, I want to replenish you. I want to replenish you. Oh, I want to, I want to, I want to restock you. I want to love you. I want to help you. I want to encourage you. I want to feel you. But I need you to come to me. I'm not going to force you. I'm not going to force your mouth open. I'm not going to force your heart open. I'm not going to jam my waters into you. Holy Spirit is a gentleman. He's a gentleman. He don't force anything on us. And so he wants us to come to him. He says, you, you are full of love. My love has been shed abroad on your heart. But you can't operate in that love that's been shed abroad in your heart unless you come to me. Yes, you are full of my power. But you can't operate in that power unless you come to me. Yes, you are full of my Holy Spirit. You're full of my, my anointing. You're full of my word. But you can't operate in none of that unless you come to me. Still away with me. I'm not asking for all your time, God says. I know you have responsibilities. He says, come, aw come away with me. Come away with me, little tot. Come away with me. God says, come away. Still away. My little daughter, my precious daughter. And I will give you the encouragement you've been needing. The love you've been lacking. The wisdom you've been seeking before. The understanding you're needing right now. To come away with me. And I will grace you to do more within that 24 hour time frame. You'll accomplish so much more. He's not asking for hours and hours and hours. Two, 20 minutes of your a quality time with the Lord. 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Of quality time is better than 24 hours of distracted time. Praise God. Father God, we come to you. Yes, Lord, we come to you. We are your precious daughters. And we hear you calling us closer. <laughs> Father, so many of us feel low on patience. We feel like we can't love. We are low on love. We feel low, Father, on energy. Feel short-fused, a lot of us. A lot of us are tired and frustrated. And all it points to, Father God, is our need for you, our desperate need to be satisfied with you. There's a place in us, Lord, that our husbands can't satisfy. Daddy, there's a place in us that our friends can't satisfy. There's a place in us that no amount of success, no accomplishment, no spa retreat can satisfy. Only you can satisfy. And Father, we don't want to be just around the things of God, the things of you. We don't want to just be in the church, around your word, holding your word in our hands. We don't want to be around you and not taste of you. 
We want a taste of you. We want to be satisfied with you, Father. And so I pray for my sisters and I, Father, that you cause us, Lord, to, to taste and see that you are good. Taste and see that you are love. Taste and see that you are faithful. Taste and see that you are most high. You are wise, God. You are our sovereign Father. We want to taste and see that you do care for us. We want to taste and see, Lord God, that you are the one that satisfies us, Father. And we pray that you satisfy us completely. Touch our minds, touch our hearts, touch our lives, Lord. Touch us, Lord. We drink from you right now. We drink from the well that never runs dry. We will never come to you hungry and leave. We will never come to you hungry and not leave happy. We will never come to you thirsty and not leave satisfied, Father God. We thank you, Lord. You are our plentiful well. You are our abundant supply. You are our source. And we come to you, Lord, realizing who you are and what only you can do. Only you can satisfy that place in us, Lord, that needs you right now. And so I pray in the name of Jesus that you satisfy all of my sisters in the name of Jesus. I pray that they allow themselves to drink from you and be satisfied with you in the name of Jesus. Don't let them turn to no individual to do what only you can do in the name of Jesus. Only you can satisfy that deep place. And so we thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that you will satisfy that place in us, Lord, in the name of Jesus. You will make us complete. We will lack nothing. We will, we will come to you and be filled up and replenished and refreshed and refueled and restocked in the name of Jesus and reestablished and refocused in the name of Jesus and refired up in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. You give us what we need in our time with you. You give us what we need. We thank you all for your Holy Ghost that fills us to the uttermost in the name of Jesus, to the overflow. We thank you, Lord, to, to the overflow, Father. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We're not walking throughout this day with a low supply. In the name of Jesus, glory to God. We come to you, Father God. We come hungry and thirsty, and we thank you, Lord, that you replenish us, and you cause us to be full. Our love tank is full. We can go the distance. We can go the extra mile in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We can be patient. We can be forgiving. We can be loving. Hallelujah. We can get things done because we've, we've gotten what we need from you, Father. In the name of Jesus. We're not quick to be offended. In the name of Jesus. Because we get what we need from you. Hallelujah. We're, we're slow to be angry. Because we've gotten what we need from you, Father. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We thank you, Lord, for filling us up. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We'll come to you tomorrow. And we'll let you fill us up again. And we'll come to you the next day. And we'll let you fill us up again. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In Jesus name. We thank you Lord. We thank you Lord. You are our source. You are our well. And you never run dry. In Jesus name. You are our sweet water. When we're surrounded with bitter situations, you are the sweetness that fills us. You are the life that fills us. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. You change us and it changes everything around us. Oh yeah, you heal us and it heals everything and repairs everything around us. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Continue to minister to my sisters, Lord, and I. Continue to cause your Holy Spirit to minister to every single place in our hearts. In Jesus' name. Glory to God. Thank you, Father. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for putting our focus on you. Thank you for setting our hearts on you and setting our affection on you. Thank you for setting our attention on you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, Lord. The change that we want to see, it begins with us. It begins in us. The change that we want to see around us, it begins in us. Hallelujah. We need to begin tasting and seeing every day that God is good. Taste and see that God is good. In the morning, when you wake up, while you're drinking your coffee, say, Father God, <laughs> I drink of you, Father. I drink of you. You let that be, let that, let whatever you drink first thing in the morning, you let that be a reminder that God is the only one that can satisfy that place in you. And so you pause and you say, Father, I was, I drink from you. Father, I drink from you right now. I let you satisfy me. I don't resist you. I don't turn away from you. I let you satisfy me. I'm not going to be around the things of you and not be satisfied by you. Hallelujah. It's a sad thing to be surrounded by lush gardens and plentiful waters and still die of dehydration. It's a sad thing. And that's why we would have a lot of people perishing because they're not tasting, they're not drinking, they're not drawing, they're not letting God satisfy them. God is in our hearts, He's in our lives, and we need to drink. We need to drink. We need to drink. Hallelujah. Drink until you don't feel so short fused no more. If you still feel low on love, low on energy, low on patience, that means you ain't drank enough. <laughs> you ain't drank enough. <laughs> you need to drink until you're satisfied. If you're still looking for somebody to call because you need them to encourage you. You need them to satisfy something in you. You can go to God. And do exactly what I shared right here. Say, Father, I drink of you, Father. I drink. I mean, say exactly this. Father, I come to you. You are the only one that can satisfy me. You say this. If you don't know what to say, say this. In the morning, when you feel low. Father God, I come to you right now. I'm low on patience. I'm low on love. I'm low. I feel so low. I know you live in me. I know your spirit lives in me, but I feel low. And that lets me know that I need to taste of you. I need to drink from you. And so I come to you thirsty and I ask you to fill me. I ask you to satisfy me. I ask you to satisfy that place in my heart that no person on this planet can satisfy. You are my father. You made me. I didn't make myself. And so you're the only one that can satisfy me. And you come to God like that. He promises. Blessed are they that thirst and hunger for righteousness. They will be filled. They shall be filled. Praise God. You let God satisfy you. All throughout the day, Father, I come to you. Satisfy me. Hallelujah. I'm looking for people to do what only you can do. Father, I break away. Satisfy me. Lord, I'm looking for social media to do what only you can do. Satisfy me, Father. I'm looking for this job to do what only you can do. Father, forgive me. Satisfy me. I'm looking for this man to do what only you can do. Father, forgive me. Satisfy me. I come to you. Satisfy that place in me. Hallelujah. I'm looking for service. I'm looking to serve, serve, serve because I'm looking for, for it to do something for me. But Lord, I come to you. Satisfy me. Satisfy me. Restock me. Replenish me. Fill me up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. 
Thank you, Jesus. I bless you, my sisters. I believe I've said everything God wants me to say. I pray that God continues to minister this to your heart, to your mind. I pray he continues to give you even deeper understanding. He's going to bless your relationships. He's going to bless your marriage. A satisfied wife blesses marriages. A, a satisfied wife, it can heal a marriage. Because you're no longer looking for your husband to do what only God can do. A satisfied friend can heal a friendship. Because you're no longer looking for that friend to do what only God can do. You gotta let yourself be satisfied in God. So you're not expecting something that's unrealistic from a human being. They can't do it. They can't do it. You go to God. Let Him, let him love on you. Let him comfort you. Let him encourage you. Let your focus be on God. Receiving from God. And everything anyone else does for you is extra. It's the icing on the cake. It's extra. But you let God be the one. That you receive your core ministry. Your core. What you need to function. You let God satisfy that. And you take that pressure off of your relationships. And you'll see them begin to breathe again. They can't breathe. They suffocate when we put pressure on relationships to be what only God can be. It suffocates the life out of it. Causes it to just dry up. and It could be thriving at first. But then you begin to place that expectation and that pressure on it. Just withers up and die. Like, what happened to it? <laughs> that was a thriving relationship. What happened? It was thriving, full of life. You turned your focus away from God and you put it on that for it to satisfy that place. And it robbed it of life. And so it's imperative, wives, to be satisfied in God. If you're in a dating relationship, be satisfied in God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Glory to God. Glory to God. It'll make you whole and complete. Praise God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. There's nothing more beautiful than being with someone and walking with someone that knows how to go to God for themselves and get what they need. There's nothing more beautiful than that. It's beautiful. Praise God. You be that be that person that knows how to go to God. Praise God and get what you need. I love you. I bless you. God bless you. Have an amazing day.